Hi friends, this is Kendra. Today I'm going to be sharing more stories from my 5 Minute Peep the Cat book. Are you guys ready to get started? Today we're going to start with Pete the Cat at the beach. Are you ready? It's a hot day. Pete the Cat climbs in the car with his mom and his brother, Bob. They have snacks, a surfboard, and a beach ball. They're heading to the beach. Does not look like fun. Pete finds the perfect spot in the sand for their blanket. Let's go in the water, Bob says as soon as they un unpacked. Maybe later, says Pete. He watches as Bob swims to catch the big waves. Bob likes to surf. Pete likes to watch. It doesn't take long for Pete to get hot sitting in the sun. I'm hot, Pete says. Why don't you join your brother in the water, Mom asks. Maybe later, says Pete. He decides to make a sandcastle instead. He is hot, but at least he's having fun. His mom helps him build a castle nice and tall. They're just about to put on the finishing touch when his mom says, Here comes a big wave. Pete jumps out of the way. Pete's castle is washed away by the wave. Bummer, Pete thinks. He looks out at the water and watches Bob ride a big wave. Wow, says Pete. That looks like fun. Come on, Pete, says Mom. Let's take a walk. There is lots to see on the beach. They find seashells, tide pools, and a crab. It buries itself in the sand to stay cool, says Mom. Pete wishes he could be cool. He decided to get his feet wet. Ah, thinks Pete. The water does feel pretty good on my hot feet. It's time for lunch. Bob swims in from the ocean to join Pete and his mom. They eat sandwiches and drink cool lemonade. The sun is very strong. Pete is dry and hot, but Bob is wet and cool. It is so fun out there, says Bob. I must have surfed 100 waves. That's a lot of waves. You must be really good at surfing. After lunch, Pete asks Bob to play catch with him. No thanks, says Bob. I want to surf. I'll play ball with you, says Pete's mom. They toss the ball back and forth. They get hotter and hotter in the sun. Let's get our feet wet, says mom. Okay, says Pete, but just our feet. The water is cool. It feels good. Pete gets a little brave and goes deeper and deeper into the water. Bob waves to Pete. Swim out here so I can teach you how to surf, Bob yells. Pete thinks about saying, maybe later, but the water feels so good. Let's do it, he says. Lie on the board, says Bob. Pete lies on the board. Paddle your paws in the water, says Bob. Pete paddles forward. He waits for a big wave. A big wave comes Pete's way. Stand up, says Bob. Pete stands up, but he wobbles. It is hard to stand up on a surfboard. falls into the water. It was a little scary, but it did not hurt. He climbs back onto the surfboard. Good job, Bob says. But I fell down, says Pete. That's okay, says Bob. You'll stay on next time. Try again later. But Pete doesn't want to wait. Let's try again now, he says. Pete lies down again. He paddles out and waits. Here comes a big wave, he shouts. I know what to do, Pete thinks. He stands up on the board. It's a little easier this time, and he rides the big wave. Wow, says Bob. Way cool, little brother. <laughs> Look at him riding the waves together. For the rest of the day, Pete and Bob share the surfboard. It's okay to be afraid, says Bob. Yeah, agrees Pete, but it is more fun to surf. The end. The next story of Pete the Cat that I want to share with you is Pete the Cat's Big lunch. Pete the cat's big lunch. It is lunchtime and Pete is ready to eat. What should I eat? A sandwich might be nice. You guys see him thinking about a sandwich? I think it says lunchtime on his watch. He's in the refrigerator. 
Yes, Pete wants a sandwich. Pete opens the fridge. What did he get out of the fridge? Can you guys see? Bread, mayo, tuna, an apple, tomatoes. He takes out a loaf of bread. He finds a yummy fish. He adds tomato and mayo. Pete looks at a sandwich. Pretty good, he thinks, but something's missing. He wants to add something sweet. Pete, know what, Pete knows what he needs. An apple. Pete loves apples. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that Pete loves apples. Pete's sandwich needs something else. Crackers! Every meal needs crackers. They are crunchy and delicious, Pete thinks. He uses a whole box. Pete looks at his sandwich again. It's, it is still too small. I wonder how much food I need to eat, Pete thinks. My stomach feels very empty. He's still hungry after eating that big old sandwich and crackers and an apple. <clears throat> oh, man. Pete adds a pickle, cheese, an egg, hot dogs, a banana, and a can of beans. Then, to top it all off, Pete adds ice cream. He can't decide if he wants a scoop of chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry, so he balances all three on top of his sandwich. Oh my goodness. Pete looks at his sandwich. It is bigger than him. How will I ever eat that, Pete thinks. Maybe I need a ladder or a funnel or maybe something to squish it down so I can take a bite. He might have a bellyache later, I feel like. Got it, think Pete, thinks Pete. He takes out his phone and calls his friends. He asks all of them to come over right away. That's like six friends. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone goes over to Pete's house. I hope they're hungry, thinks Pete. Hey, Pete, they say. Do you have any snacks? I sure do, he says. Come on in. Everyone takes a piece of the sandwich. There's plenty to go around. They each get the part they like the best. Now there's no more giant sandwich. Sharing is cool, says Pete. The end. I thought he was going to have a big bellyache, but he ended up just sharing it with his friends, which is a great idea. Our last story for Pete for today is going to be Pete the Cat, Robo Pete. What a great sunny morning. Pete can't wait to play baseball with his friends. Do you want to play catch, Pete asked Larry. I can't, says Larry. I'm going to the library. Do you want to play catch, Pete asked Callie. I was about to go for a bike ride. Maybe later, maybe later says Callie. Do you want to play catch, Pete asked John. I can't right now, says John. I have to paint the fence. All of Pete's friends are busy doing other things. Pete wishes his friends would do what he wants to do. It's no fun playing catch all by himself. If only I knew another me, Pete thinks. And just like that, Pete gets a great idea. Pete builds a robot. He programs it to be just like him. Welcome to the world, Robo Pete, he says to the robot. You're my new best friend. We'll do everything together. Want to play catch? Great idea, says Robo Pete in his robotic voice. Pete and Robo Pete play catch. Wow, says Pete, running after the ball. You sure can throw far. Robo Pete throws farther and farther until Pete needs to go catch his breath. Time out, says Pete. I'm tired. Let's play something else. I want to play whatever you want to play, Robo Pete says proudly. How about we play hide and seek, says Pete. That will be fun, says Robo Pete. Pete finds the best hiding place ever. He's sure Robo Pete will never find him. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shouts Robo Pete. Ready or not, here I come. Gotcha, shouts Robo Pete, tagging Pete. How did you find me, asked Pete. 
With my homing device, says Robo Pete. You gave it to me. I can find anyone, anywhere. Oh yeah, says Pete, a little disappointed. It's no fun playing hide and seek with someone who doesn't even have to try to find you. Okay, enough hide and seek. Let's play some guitar. Pete teaches Robo Pete how to play a song he made up. You have to feel the music, says Pete explains. Okay, the louder I play, the more I feel it, he shouts over the noise. Pete tries to stop Robo Pete, but Robo Pete can't hear him. Robo Pete plays on and on. Pete goes outside to ride his skateboard. Robo Pete follows him. That looks like fun, says Robo Pete, and his feet transform into a motorized skateboard, and a jetpack comes out of his back. Thanks for the super speedy wheels, he shouts as he takes off down the path. Wait, calls Pete. Oh my gosh, what's happening in this picture? Pete chases after Robo Pete. He has no idea where Robo Pete is going until crash! Robo Pete slams into the sandbox at the playground. Are you okay, Pete asks his robot. I'm a robot. I'm indestructible, says Robo Pete. What is this strange place? It's a playground, says Pete. My friends are here, says Pete, Callie, Larry, John. This is Robo Pete. I made him myself. Cool, says Larry. We are going to help John finish painting, says Callie, and then we are going on a bike ride. I want to go on that thing, interrupts Robo Pete. Thing, asks Pete, as Robo Pete zooms up to the slide. Robo Pete, I want to help my friends paint the fence. Paint the fence, that sounds great, Robo Pete says. I am programmed to paint faster than anyone. Pete and his friends try to help, but Robo Pete paints too fast. So instead, they ride bikes and they read books, and after Robo Pete is done painting, they help him clean the brushes. Pete realizes that it doesn't matter what they do, just being with his friends is what makes it fun. The end. All right, that's it for my Pete the Cat stories for today. I hope to see you soon. Bye, friends.